chicken and spinach fettuccine alfredo thank you guys for joining me as i show you how to make a client favorite before you start to prepare any meal always remember to wash your hands i'm using three pieces of chicken breast which i've already cleaned and dried use a sharp knife to put some slits in the chicken breast that way the seasoning will penetrate the meat after this is done i'm gonna add some fresh lemon juice to the chicken some pepper some cayenne pepper and paprika and then some garlic powder and some all things michelle jerk dry rub then i'm gonna just massage that into the meat make sure the meat is all covered with seasoning in a stock pot over high heat to bring some water to boil then add some salt to which you're gonna add your fettuccine pasta and in a cast iron over medium heat, I'm going to add some olive oil. And once that is hot, I'm going to add the chicken breast. I'll allow this to cook for about three minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and chop some parsley. The chicken is now ready to be turned. I'm going to turn it on the other side and allow it to cook for three minutes as well. Look at that beautiful color on the chicken. Our pasta has been cooking for 8 minutes, so now we're going to turn that off. In the saucepan the chicken was in, we're going to add some butter and allow that to melt. And then add some crushed garlic. We're going to allow that to simmer for about a minute or two. Now we're going to add 1 cup of heavy whipped cream. And allow that to cook for about three minutes or until it starts to get thick to the mixture we added a teaspoon of paprika and a half teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg we're gonna give that a good stir and allow it to simmer for another minute or two now i'm adding my shredded parmesan i'm gonna allow that to melt and then i'm gonna add the spinach and i'm gonna mix that into the sauce let it simmer for about a minute then i'm gonna add the pasta which i had already drained i'm gonna give this a good stir so everything is all mixed in together look at that so creamy and then i'm just gonna top that with some chopped parsley i know you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe like leave your comment and hit that notification bell so that you are notified as soon as a new video is posted also served with some cauliflower rice thank you for watching guys and see you soon